apothecary tales the basics of pharmacology so welcome back today we'll be talking about a very important and a very simple topic most of the time we get confused what is the difference between bacteriostatic versus bactericidal antimicrobial agents first of all to begin with let's understand what is antimicrobial agents as the name suggests they are the drugs that is used to treat the infections caused by the microbes they can be of different types like antibiotics antivirals antifungals antiprotozoals antihelminths and so on depending on the organism the class of organism they are going to target so talking about the antibiotics they are the drugs that is used to treat against the bacterial infections that is the infection caused by the bacteria so they can be either bactericidal in activity or bacteriostatic so in this particular video we'll be talking about what is the difference between the bactericidal and bacteriostatic agents so let's understand that today bacteriostatic agents are the drugs or the antibiotics that basically arrest the growth of the bacteria and limits the spread of the infection so they particularly act on the bacteria and therefore they stop the growth or for the development of the bacterial species so that is the action of bacteriostatic agents as the name says a static static simply means standing still so when we give this bacteriostatic agents they are stopping the growth of the bacteria whereas bactericidal sidal is always meaning killing the word sidal means killing so like suicidal means what killing oneself similarly bactericidal means it kills the bacteria so those agents that is having the bactericidal activity kills the bacteria so that is one of the main difference between bacteriostatic and bactericidal agent one arrest the growth of the bacteria which is known as the bacteriostatic the second one bactericidal agents kills the bacteria the bacteriostatic agents as mentioned since it arrests the growth of bacteria it mainly acts by inhibiting either the protein synthesis or bacterial metabolic pathways so we have to understand one thing is that antibiotics act in many mechanisms they either inhibit the cell wall synthesis cell membrane synthesis protein synthesis or particular enzymes present within the bacteria so bacteriostatic agents are specifically acting by inhibiting the protein synthesis or any of the metabolic pathways so what is this bactericidal agents going to do they are going to target the cell wall or cell membrane as they target the cell wall or cell membrane synthesis they basically increases the permeability of the cell wall or causing the damage to the cell wall or cell membrane as a result it kills the bacteria and thereby it becomes the bactericidal agents so these are the examples for the bacteriostatic agents as well as the bactericidal agents so bacteriostatic chloramphenicol erythromycin clindamycin sulfonamide tetracyclines talking about the bactericidal examples we have vancomycin beta lactam antibiotics quinolones rifampin metronidazole but there are still drugs that can act both bacteriostatic as well as bactericidal in nature and how does this happen it basically depends on the dose the duration of exposure the concentration and state of the invading bacteria for example if we try to give a particular drug in a lower dose it becomes more of a bacteriostatic in action when we try to increase the dose of the drug it becomes bactericidal in activity or we are having a greater exposure of the drug with the bacteria for a longer duration we are giving or longer course of administration of the drug this will further become bactericidal in activity 
So these are the reasons why how a drug can become both bacteriostatic as well as bactericidal in activity. And those examples are aminoglycoside, fluoroquinolone and metronidazole. So I hope now it's clear for you what is the difference between bacteriostatic and bactericidal. In simple words, bacteriostatic, static means standing still. So it basically arrests the growth of the bacteria. Whereas bactericidal, sidal basically means killing. So bactericidal agents are those that kills the bacteria and achieves the action. So thank you everyone. So stay tuned for more informative videos.